Hey guys, it's Husky here, and today I want to show you the new Level Editor custom music update that's rolled out to Melatonin for PC users this month. And I'm really excited for this update because before we had the Level Editor available to use with in-game music, but now you can pull in your own audio files to create awesome custom levels with, and that's what we're going to get into today. So right off the bat, if you've never used Melatonin's Level Editor before, the way to find it is really just to go to the level that you want to create from. If you want to use every level in the game to your disposal, you'll just want to go to morning. Right now, let's just drop into the first level of the game and choose editor. And you'll see there's some new options above us, uh, including the more tab. So you tap M on the keyboard and look at all this. You have the select song option, which is literally going to open your file browser. Um, you've also got well, I can't choose any more options until I choose a song. So let's pick a custom song. Uh, I've chosen Fan Club from Rhythm Heaven DS. So let's load that up. And then we have the song tempo, the length of the song, and the buffer time. Now, these are all super important. In fact, before I even loaded this song, I have a feeling the file I uploaded is going to have a buffer time. So what that means is you want your file to start exactly on the measure of the beginning of the song. And so that's what this start buffer option is here for, to allow you to increase or decrease a buffer time to match up when the song actually starts. Uh, I actually don't recommend using this. I have a better solution for you and that is involved in Audacity. So if you've never used Audacity before, it's a free audio program, and I highly encourage anyone to use it. It's super useful for many occasions. Uh, but if you haven't installed Audacity on your PC, I'll leave a link in the description so you can follow this next step. Okay, so here I have Audacity open, and once you have a music file that you wanna work with, uh, you're just going to want to drag and drop that file into the Audacity window. So here I'm doing that now. And here is our file. So here if we click play, you can see there is a slight buffer between when the song actually starts. And that's typical for most audio files. So what we're going to do is we're just going to click this magnifying glass and zoom in on the beginning. And you can see this very first waveform is actually when the song begins and so we're just gonna i'm gonna zoom in as much as i can honestly and then just like about where this big first waveform starts like right here i'm gonna take everything else and control x and that's just gonna remove it from the beginning of the song now if i zoom back out click play it starts right away and that's what we want. What a banger. Uh, but anyway, so now that we have the song starting exa off exactly as we want, you can make other adjustments too as you like. Like this is a very useful program. Like say if you have a song that like, especially for video game songs, if you have a song that is continuously looping and maybe you don't have a great way to finish the song, you can always just choose where you want to fade out. You can select any portion of the song, go to effect, and choose fade out or my favorite the studio fade out and it's going to fade it out for you and then you can remove the rest of the song that you don't want uh so stuff like that i think this is a super useful free program for uh custom level editing or just making edits to music in general so after you've made any adjustments you want with the effects tab or anything else let's export it into a new wave format because that's going to give us good quality and I'm just going to save this to my downloads folder. It's going to bring up some metadata values. You don't really need to worry about that if you don't want to. So I'm just going to click OK. And then that just appeared in my downloads folder. And we are done for now with Audacity. OK, so now back to Melatonin. Let's go back to music. We're going to open up the file. And this is our new WAV file. Uh, but now we need to determine the tempo. And the way I would do this is if you already know the tempo of the song, that's great. Or if you just are able to look it up. But especially for some of these more like retro songs, you might just have to figure it out through metronome. And so 
what I would do is just use a metronome on your phone or just type in tap BPM and use a website like this to actually click to the beat of the song while you listen to it. So if I just play the song and then tap the BPM like this. Okay, so we can, so it helps to tap as much as you can. We're in about a 142, 143 range. That doesn't tell us exactly what the BPM is, but it gives us a range and that can allow us to at least put in a starting range. I'll go ahead and say 143. However, not every song aligns perfectly with a whole number BPM, which is why David the developer has graciously offered to add this addition, which is where you hold down the shift key and then right and left arrow and you can fine adjust the BPM exactly where it needs to be. So hopefully you don't have to use that, but if you must, it is there so you can fine adjust your BPM by holding shift and the arrow keys. But yeah, let's, uh, let's close this for now. And now we're just in the food level. So if you haven't played around with the editor before, uh, you have to use your keyboard to move around the interface, uh, but you can tab to choose between downbeats and offbeats, events, and tempo. Now, the tempo tab is going to be of no use for custom songs because there's currently no ability to change the tempo in the middle of a custom song level. Maybe that'll change in the future, but for now, the tempo tab is no use for us. So you're going to want to pick a song with one consistent tempo. Um, so let's just put some downbeats on here. Let's just test it out and see if it lines up with our song. So I'm just going to click P for play. Okay, so that was very simple. It seemed to lined up for the moment that we had gameplay, but I think we need to add more to get a better feel for it. And actually, since the song is really fast, I'm going to I'm going to take out some of these extra notes. All right, let's try this again. Okay, so that's a great way to just sort of determine that the game is lining up with your song. Now, even though it matched up that entire time, it's still possible that our BPM could be off by one or two beats per minute. As you continue to make and build your level, it could go on for a minute and you could start to notice a separation of the beats syncopating. So keep that in mind. You may have to fine adjust your BPM as you continue. Um, that's what happened to me when I made my first custom level is I ended up not having the right BPM as I thought it was. So it may just require you to test it multiple times and fine adjust as much as you can. But if you want to have every level at your disposal for your level, you're going to want to go to morning, which is where we are. Oh, it's going to reload. Okay. <laughs> you're going to want to go to morning, which is like the final level of the game, right? So this has every level mixed together. Um, Ignore the zero rings. I think this is my any percent file. So I have completed this game a couple times, but that's not the point. The point is I've actually already made a level recently in the final editor. Uh, but what's cool also that I didn't mention earlier is if you hold down the P key to practice, it will load to the measure that you selected, which is great for when your song is getting to be longer than a minute and you don't want to have to play the whole level to see what you're making, you know? Uh, so that's really cool. But yeah, I, I definitely recommend building in morning because this is where you just have all the options at your disposal. I love this song, so I had a great time making this one. Uh, but the last thing we're going to talk about today is how to save and share and play other people's custom levels because um, I think that's going to be the most enjoyable part. So once you have your level made how you want it, uh, you're proud of your work and you want to share it with your friends and maybe let other people play your level, 
you're going to want to go to Steam and in Melatonin, you're going to go manage browse local files. And that's going to bring open here everything in the Melatonin game folder. And you can see I have a couple of different level editor files. These two are for final, which is the name it gives for the morning level. And this is for the food level. So every level that you go into editor and make something, it's going to generate a save file, which is the JSON file extension and a WAV file for your custom level music that you chose to load. In order to save these files, you're just going to want to back them up in a different location. So I'm just going to shift click and choose both of the final files. And then I just created a, a new folder called Melatonin Custom Songs. And inside there, I'm going to make a new folder and we're going to call this our song name and then click inside and paste our two level editor files. And that's all you need to be able to share your file. If you want, you can uh, zip file this so that it's easier to share between friends. And then if you wanna start a new song uh, in the editor, you would just need to delete these files and restart your game. So that's why it's super important to back up your work into a different folder if you plan on making additional levels in the same editor. This may not be the case for longer. I know that David and the team uh, for Melatonin are working on adding Steam Workshop support for the game, which is going to allow a much easier way to share and play levels together. I'll be sure to make a new video once the Steam Workshop support is up. Uh, so maybe you'll see that as a title card if it comes out within the next month or so. And then if you receive these files from a friend, all you have to do is open up the local files and drag and drop their files into the game and then restart your melatonin game. And then when you go to the editor, you should be able to just find their edited level in your game and be able to play it from there. So. It's a bit of a process for now, but I hope that the Steam Workshop update coming soon will be able to alleviate some of the steps that it takes. But it's an easy enough way right now to share levels. So I hope this video helped you guys who were maybe curious or weren't sure or even knew that Melatonin has custom song editing, which is so cool and exciting. But yeah, guys, that's going to be the basic rundown for the Melatonin custom level music update. If you guys enjoyed the video and it helped you out, be sure to tap the like. And if you've never seen my channel before, maybe you'd like to watch me 100% this game at a world record pace. Well, you can do that right now by tapping the video on the screen if you want to check out my 100% speed run of Melatonin. But without further ado, guys, have a great rest of your day. I'll see you next time.